Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. Want to bring you all an update on Bitcoin right now. We're at 10,814. Those bulls stepping in. We're up 2.67%. Guys, I'm going to show you some of my key target areas, some of the things we're coming up to right now. We're coming up to a key resistance area. So I just want to put these things on your radar. If you like these videos, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I don't want to take too much of your time here. We're going to try to get this done quick. So we'll dig in. All right. So the most important thing that I was seeing here, guys, number one was this white trend line has been defended. We've seen a beautiful bounce off that as well as an RSI breakout. So on RSI, it's like a line graph. What I like to do, I like to play trend line breaks on it. And you can see we got that beautiful breakout right here where we went from essentially 39 on the RSI up to 56 where we're at right now. And what we also did, we set a nice higher low. If we zoom in here, we've consistently made higher lows all the way up through here and we had this nice little doji candle here and guys we just got a nice little bit of volume that came in and we've defended that and what's happened is now we're up above our 20 ema and our 50 moving average today it's going to be very important for us to close up above this 50 day moving average let me zoom in here for you so our, our 50 moving average here is in blue our 20 EMA is in orange just so you can see that but right now we are up above it and what we're running into is a key overhead resistance here at ten thousand eight hundred and about thirteen dollars what happened was here we pushed up strong but we wicked through that 20 EMA and then we came back down here guys and we pushed through with this doji saw a lot of indecision here and then we made that nice run up but now we're challenging that 10,813 and if we could close up above that and the 50 today that could give us a definite shot of running up here to around that $11,368 and where I got that from was our Fibonacci what I did with our Fibonacci, I went from our swing low all the way up to our swing high. And as you see, we came back down. We actually floated in between the 0 0.5 and the 0 0.386 there, and it was defended. So we have been up above this 0 0.382, and now what we're doing is coming up and we're running into that 0 0.236 around 11,368. So that's going to be my next target. If we can close up above that 10,800 right where we're at right now today and above that 50 moving average, then my next target is going to be around that 11,300. 168 excuse me guys that would be my target area right there next one here to the downside what we would look at because we always like to look at the upside and the downside remember I don't have a crystal ball for you what we need to do is follow the whales we need to ride their coattails so to the downside I'd like to see our 20 EMA hold which is going to be important then ultimately this white trend line this is what I'm looking for guys if we start having trend line breaks out of here then I would look for anything from 25 to 40 percent to the downside can happen okay because these trend lines whenever they break especially one that's been intact for this long and it has this angle on it here if you never measured the angles this is how you do you do a little trend line angle there and right now we're at about 30 degrees we'll call it 30 degrees so this should be looked at as a strong uptrend and this white line should hold if we're going to continue to make these moves but what i want to see is more volume it's very important to have more volume so guys to the downside we're going to look at that trend line right now in that 20 ema and that 20 ema is at 10,255 that we would want to see hold so we're just chopping right now in that little equilibrium pattern and we're going to have to see if we continue to break to the upside or if we break to the downside I want to show you a few more indicators here the next one I wanted to go to was our stochastic RSI. And there now we're starting to get into that overbought territory. We're at 186. So that's where we're running into these key overhead resistances and we're going to have to see if we can get through them or not. But we need to pay attention to see if we get a downward cross here. That's going to be something important to look at. Next one I want to show you was our MACD. And with our MACD we have a beautiful bullish cross right there that is confirmed in histogram ticking to the upside so guys things are looking pretty good right now we just have to see what we do here with this area this 10,822 if we're going to close up above it and go up there and challenge that 0 0.236 at 11,368 or if we're going to start rolling back over here and testing some of those lower numbers that I gave you so if you like these videos like these quick one guys like subscribe hit that notification bell and let's just see if we can get that higher high that'd be a nice thing right out of here guys there was our nice higher low, and we'll see if we can come up here and set a higher high than this area at 10,826. Take care, my friends. Have a great weekend.